Hello and welcome to Bro Jewel. This time we have another overhaul series for you, and this time we're taking a look at one of our favourite mods, Convenient Horses. In our opinion, Convenient Horses is the best complete horse overhaul available right now, and it also recently received an update, so this series will be focusing on the latest version, version 5. For anyone that's not too familiar with the mod, or for those of you that haven't used one of the later versions of the mod, Convenient Horses makes a variety of changes to horse behaviour, control, combat and mount features for your followers. It also adds things like new horse equipment, including saddles, horse armours and a few other tools. This episode of the series will focus on the new horse controls, including the new mechanics and features added by the mod. The next episode will focus on combat and equipment, and then the final episode of this three-part series will focus on horses for followers. So let's jump straight into it. Convenient horses only requires two things, and they're SKSC and Sky UI, which most of you probably have installed. Apart from that, installation is as easy as any other mod. As you might imagine, one of the mod's main aims is to make horses more convenient. In the vanilla game, when you mount a horse, it removes your ability to perform various actions, like talking to NPCs, looting, and until the 1.6 patch, you also couldn't combat your enemies. However, Convenient Horses aims to fix all that with a variety of new controls that not only let you have more control over your horse, but to also give you more control over your character while you're mounted. In the mod menu, you'll be able to apply 6 new hotkeys for various controls. Alternatively, if you're using a controller, you might want to opt to use the multi-tap system, where instead of extra hotkeys, you need to tap A on your controller a certain amount of times to use each of the new features. The new features include being able to fast dismount, which involves you jumping off your horse without the usual delay caused by the long dismounting animation. It works great for when you need to quickly hop off to deal with a threat, or if you just prefer to always use the fast dismount feature, then you can toggle it on in the mud menu. You can also now tell your horse to follow you, which when pressed, plays a short fitting animation. The horse AI has also been improved, so horses will now be smart when following your character, meaning they'll stop following you if you sneak or if you've moved into a location not fit for a horse. On top of that, you can also purchase a calling horn for 500 gold from any horse merchant. Once purchased, you'll also receive a power that you can use at any time to summon your horse from anywhere in the world. It also comes with a fitting animation, and it'll even auto-mount your horse too, which is a nice touch. Alternatively, while on your journey across Skyrim, you could also learn a new horse whistling spell which you can use as an immersive way to call your horse from afar. The other controls include the ability to talk, loot and harvest while mounted. It works exactly as you'd expect it to, and as you can see from the circles on screen now, if a person, item or corpse are within the grey circles, then you just need to press the assigned hotkey to perform the appropriate action. However, if a herb or other harvestable material is within the bigger green circle, then you can press another hotkey to harvest the item. While that might not seem like it'll have a huge impact on gameplay, the features work extremely well, and it means you can seamlessly pass through towns like Riverwood, Falkreath and the other open cities freely while on your horse. So now you can accept quests and be swiftly on your way. And finally, the last bit of horse control comes in the form of a new horse inventory, which you can also access via a hotkey. Using the default settings, you can only access the inventory while near your horse. However, you can set it to travel mode, which will fast travel you to your horse's location and open the inventory. And then when you're done, it'll automatically fast travel you back to where you were, which is a nice feature. Or for a slightly less immersive alternative, you can set it so you can access the horse inventory from anywhere. And on top of that, you also get to change the horse inventory's max carry weight, so be sure to set that to whatever you feel is right. And that's everything you need to know about Convenient Horse's new controlling features. The new hotkeys can take a little while to get used to, but having them in your game is a major improvement over the vanilla system. Being able to perform various basic actions makes travelling and using your horse as easy as travelling on foot. So if you're interested in checking out more about convenient horses, then you can find links to our other episodes down below. You'll also be able to find a link to the mod and everything else you need. As always, be sure to leave endorsements on any mod you enjoy, and thanks for watching.